Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Hey, mommy. And that's Willow. Today we're gonna read A Weekend with Wendell. Uh -huh. And before we begin, I want to let everyone know in the description box below, I'll put a link to this book if you're interested. Every month we do one Reading with Willow video and I've been doing this with her since she was about six to eight months old. And I love doing this with her, so it's super special. This is a book I've had since I was a kid. You can tell it's a little older and worn. And on the inside, it has my maiden name, but I wrote that when I was a kid, so it's super cute. But it's called A Weekend with Wendell, and we're gonna begin now. Are you ready? On Friday afternoon, Wendell's parents dropped him off at Sophie's house. Wendell's going to spend the weekend with us, said Sophie's mother, while his parents visit relatives out of town. Oh boy, said Wendell. Sophie didn't say anything. After a snack, Sophie helped Wendell carry his sleeping bag and suitcase upstairs. Well, what are we going to do now? Asked Wendell. Do you have any toys? Sophie pointed to her toy chest. Is that all you got? Said Wendell. I've got a million times more than that. What else is there to do around here? Well, we could play house, said Sophie. Only if I can make the rules, said Wendell. I can't make it hard. So they played house and Wendell made the rules. He was the father, the mother, and the five children. Sophie was the dog. Then they played hospital. Wendell was the doctor, the nurse, and the patient. Sophie was the desk clerk. When they pretended they worked in a bakery, Wendell was the baker and Sophie was a sweet roll. Isn't this fun, said Wendell. Sophie did not say anything. At dinner, Wendell said that he was allergic to anything green so he didn't have to eat his vegetables. And then, when Sophie wasn't looking, he scooped the whipped cream off of her dessert. When is Wendell leaving? whispered Sophie. Soon, said her mother. Soon, said her father. After Sophie's parents tucked Sophie in her bed, zipped Wendell in his sleeping bag, kissed them both, and turned off the light, Wendell grabbed his flashlight and shone it right in Sophie's eyes. See you tomorrow, he said, smiling. Sophie shut her eyes. I can't wait for Wendell to go home, she said to herself. On Saturday morning, when Sophie woke up, there was a lumpy blue monster jumping up and down on her bed. It was Wendell. She felt something pinch her leg at breakfast. It was Wendell. She heard scary noises coming from the broom closet. It was Wendell. Wendell used Sophie's crayons and left them on the porch, so they melted. At lunch, Wendell finger painted with his peanut butter and jelly. Isn't this fun, said Wendell. Sophie didn't say anything. When is Wendell leaving, whispered Sophie. Soon, said her mother. Soon, said her father. At bedtime, when Sophie put her head on her pillow, she heard something crunch. It was a note from Wendell. It said, see you tomorrow. Sophie shut her eyes. I can't wait for Wendell to go home, she said to herself. Before Wendell's parents picked him up on Sunday morning, he tried to make a long distance call. He wrote his name on the bathroom mirror with toothpaste. He and Annie gave Sophie a new hairdo with shaving cream. Want to go outside to help me wash this off? Asked Sophie. We could play firefighter. Oh boy, said Wendell. So they played firefighter and Sophie made the rules. She was the fire chief. Wendell was the burning building. Isn't this fun, said Sophie. Wendell didn't say anything. Do I get to be the fire chief? Asked Wendell. Maybe, said Sophie. Soon, Wendell and Sophie didn't care who was the fire chief or who was the burning building. Time to go, said Sophie's mother. Time to go, said Sophie's father. Already, said Wendell. Already, said Sophie. When is Wendell coming back, asked Sophie. Never, said her mother. Never, said her father. This afternoon, when Wendell unpacked his suitcase, he heard something crunch. It was a note from Sophie. It said, I hope I see you soon. The end. That is a really cute little book. I'm, <laughs> woo! Are you all done? Yeah, I think so now. All right, I think she is officially done. That was like a pretty long book for her, sitting down and reading that, but I think it's a really cute book. I actually have not sat down and read this since I was a kid, so that was really fun. 
It teaches a lesson that's really sweet, that sharing is caring, being kind to others is nice. Um, and obviously Sophie was not having what Wendell was putting down with all of the little shenanigans he was trying to pull. But in the end, when she got her turn to shine, they both didn't real, they realized that neither of them need to have everything, that they can be together playing together. And I thought that was really sweet, so. Hi. Thank you everybody for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click the bell button to be alerted when I post. I upload a new video every Monday and Thursday mornings at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. And Go as always, it. stay sassy. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye, guys.